Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano here is, uh, is one that I'm very, very pleased with the outcome, both the touch and the tone. I'm just so happy with, with how, how it turned out. Whenever I come across uh, pianos, any of these that I rebuild or refurbish or, or even just tune and service, I have kind of an inkling with my experience of what the piano is going to turn out like. But uh, I never really, really know until, until it's totally done and tuned and, and I play it the very first time. And uh, this one I knew was going to be good when, uh, when I very first heard it. But, uh, but even when it was done, this is one that even far surpassed those, those hopes and, and expectations. Great, great little piano. Built by, uh, built by Baldwin, it's a Hamilton. Built by Baldwin in 1947. Um, and uh, a quick uh, little thing about, about Baldwin, my, my feelings about, <clears throat> about Baldwin. Uh, I really, really like Baldwin, big fan of Baldwin, st starting in, I don't know, maybe the 1920s or so, those, those pianos that are that old that by this point, they're, they're pretty deteriorated and, and have lost uh, that magic unless, unless they're rebuilt well. All the, way, all the way through maybe the 1980s or so, I really, really like Baldwin products. And this is, this is right in there, right in, right in the Baldwin heyday. So, <clears throat> it's, it's no, it was really no surprise. I, I guess part of my expectations originally when I, when I first came across this piano were based on that. And, and my, my overwhelmingly positive experience with, with Baldwin as both a technician and a musician. So cosmetically, this piano, it, it very much looks like pianos from that era, 19, 1947. You know, it, 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 just, it just has that, that certain post-war, late 40s, early 50s look to it. And, uh, and, it, and it really is in great shape. It's, it's got a few little, like, surfacey scratches. Nothing at all, though, like I usually see pianos this old. Usually I'll see much, much more significant scratches and gouges and dings and maybe some missing veneer. This piano has none of that. So let me talk briefly about, about everything that, that we've done to this piano and then I'll play it for you. So this was, this was a several, several day project. The first, first thing we did that we do to all pianos, we cleaned it thoroughly. We, we took it outside, tore it down to the skeleton, took the action out cleaned it very thoroughly. Every piano older than, than five or 10 years is absolutely filthy inside. This piano, of course, no exception. But now, after, after we've cleaned it, you could, you could take the keys out, you could take the action out, you could take every panel off, and, and it's just immaculately clean. Everything, all the wood and everything is oiled and, and cleaned totally, totally dust-free on the inside. Uh, of course, the keys, uh, Keys, keys get little scratches over the years, and, and we have a high-speed buffing wheel. We buff all of those keys individually, so those are, those are also in excellent shape. Those are, those are more cosmetic kinds of things. The, uh, the functionality, though, of the piano. Pianos, again, older than maybe 10 or 20 years or so. They, the, the whole action loosens, loosens up. Things kind of start to get out of alignment. So we tightened everything up. Got everything properly aligned so that those hammers are straight on. The, uh, the essentially the transfer of, of power from your finger to the hammer striking the string is as 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 efficient as it can can be. All of the uh, moving parts, a lot of moving parts, of course. That in my experience, things get things get squeaky or they they just need lubrication. We took care of all of that. A lot of distances that that get. Uh, that are not correct happens again to all, all pianos over time. And we took care of all of that, so now you have the proper touch, so, so that when you, when you press the key, you get the right leverage, essentially, you get the right what's called let off, where that hammer comes close to the string, and, then, and, that's, and that's where it uh, flies to the string on its own momentum, and having that really nice, tight, 1 8 inch let off gives you, gives you much more precision control over, over uh, the, the dynamic range. On this piano we've, we've taken care of all of that. Of course brought it up to pitch and tuned it. Um, there was probably more, oh, we, we did, did some, some damper work 
on this on this piano. Of course, dampers are what are what silence the the strings when you when you release the key. There's probably more that I'm not thinking of, but needless to say, the the message that I'm trying to convey is we're very thorough on this piano, and and some pianos some pianos really merit it, and this is one of those that absolutely merited it. And and one one final thing, and then I'll then I'll play it for you is when, when I get into pianos, sometimes, like, like I'm saying, when, they, when, when I'm really happy with how, they, how they're coming out, we kind of want to go a little bit further, and let's just go a little bit further, and a little bit further, and, and, and they, they, they just really shine up, and they, they kind of, they, they respond well, and so we just do a little bit more, and a little bit more, and that was the case with this one, where, where it just, it's, it's just, shining up so well we, we thought that it deserved more and more. So that's this little Baldwin Hamilton. It's a really nice, warm, rich, pleasing tone. to be.